Hi everybody. Happy New Year. It's 2013. Yes. Well, what do you mean it's two weeks old? Hey, if DC Comics can still be calling their comic run a new over a year and a half after they've done it, I can still say it's a new year now. So, nah. Uh, yeah, I, I, full of bugs and mucus and nasty stuff. So, you know, um, if I sound a bit bugged up, it's because I am a bit bugged up in the dose. Uh, I won't be going to Dotty Goob anytime soon. So, yeah, if you're English or if you're British, you'll, you'll know that joke. Yeah, understand that joke. Uh, excuse me, I've just got some medicine. Oh. <coughs> uh, drink responsibly, kiddies. Drink responsibly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm basically doing this video just to show everybody that I am still alive. And uh, just about. And uh, just, just to show a few bits and pieces that I've picked up recently. Uh, nothing much. Actually, comic-wise, uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, there wasn't anything that actually came out uh, just before, well, just after Christmas. Uh, when you got Amazing Spider-Man number seven hundred, which, uh, wow, that was after reading six nine eight and six nine nine, it was to be expected that was going to happen. Uh, excuse me, but. Uh, yeah, if you've if you've what if you've read Superior Spider Man, you'll know that well by the time you finish reading Superior Spider Man, uh, it's got an ending that could have been written by uh, M Night Shyamala. Yeah, you know, what a twist! You know, uh, so there there is some interesting things going on in comics recently. Uh, I just haven't picked anything up yet. Uh, I should be getting a delivery somewhere tomorrow hopefully as long as the snow the impending snow that's being brought by the frost giants uh, isn't going to be sort of like stopping the whole country from grinding it to a halt which it usually does <coughs> uh so but yeah anyway uh stuff i've picked up uh i was very lucky because uh, somebody i work with has actually given me a load of DVDs. They know I like comic books. They know I like Superman and X Men and all that sort of stuff. And they had some DVDs that they were they were giving away. I've got most of them. Uh, I'll show you the ones I've. I'll show you the ones they've given me. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. That's a different one. Must be a double sided disc. Uh, you've got Superman the movie. I've got this on. I've got this up there on a, a Dutch DVD, uh, which is sort of like a box set. One day, somebody, a couple of people have asked, have asked me to do videos of the bookshelf behind me, and I will be doing a, a video on all the DVDs on that bookshelf there, and my graphic novels here, <laughs> blasted though, and my bookshelf up there as well that you've probably seen in previous videos. So I will be doing that once I figure out how to do it and not cause everybody to get seasick and that I will be doing videos of that sort of like thing. Uh also what I did what I haven't got on DVD oh, I sound ridiculous with this though so tell you. <sighs> one I haven't got on DVD is Superman 2. Absolutely brilliant movie and if you've seen Superman Returns you'll know that this is the movie that Superman Returns basically follows on from they they sort of said right okay superman 3 and superman 4 quest for peace did it happen so this is basically i suppose technically superman returns is superman 3 sort of uh x-men the first movie this is the american version which i've got uh when i had more money and uh <laughs> Basically, when I was living at home with my parents, <coughs> as we all have, and I had more money, I used to get American release DVDs, Region 1 DVDs, and I used to get them, you know, in this country about a month to two months before they're actually released in this in this country. So, uh, but I, I don't have the money now, unfortunately. I've got to actually pay rent and, and such. So, <laughs> it's a bitch, isn't it, life? <laughs> there you go. Um, but, yeah, so... 
X Men, first X Men movie. Uh, I've already got this one, but you know, having two copies of it ain't a problem. And you've got X Men Two, which I think I have got a version of this. I've got the American version and the British release version, so Region One and the Region Two version. This is the Region Two, but I think my Region Two was the one disc version. This is the two disc. So that means it's got the movie and all the special bits and pieces of it. it. But I'll, I'll have to check me, my DVDs up there. See what but... X-Men Last Stand. I hadn't got this for ages. And then I picked up the one disc really cheaply. And now I've got the two disc edition. Which is really cool. I can't get it out of the cardboard because I'm not thinking straight. And there you go. Really nice, really nice artwork for the photographic artwork in that one. A little bit, uh, obviously photoshopped, but nothing wrong with that. Oh, look at that Ultimate Avengers movie! Ultimate Avengers, remember that? That was brilliant. That was they should bring some more out, out like that. I would like to see anybody, anybody from Disney or Marvel watching this. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, I would like to see you do an adaptation of the uh is it miles morales miles morales ultimate spider-man that would be really cool seeing a, a, an, an animated adaptation of that i think that would be really cool so yeah there you go uh this is the uh yeah, the two disc british edition british release and i haven't got this one <clears throat> and i've just checked up there and i found out i have got this one but again it's free so who cares? Fantastic Four movie. A lot of people slated this. A lot of people said it wasn't that good. I enjoyed it. Sorry, but I did. But then again, I enjoyed Ang Lee's Hulk. And to a certain extent, I enjoyed the Daredevil movie as well. Uh, the the less, less said about the Electra movie, the better, I think. I didn't really enjoy that that much. But but then other people did. So. <sighs> uh, what else have we got? One comic. One comic I have got. Uh, but it's an old one, so that's that's cool. It, it's uh, I think it's from nineteen seventy seven. <coughs> in the seventies, DC used to do all these special edition uh, comics. They didn't last that long. There was there was uh, Batman, giant size Batman, and uh, there was the Super Family comic, which was originally Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane. And Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen. When those two closed down, when those those two got cancelled, they brought in the Superman family, and they had they had loads of the DC special series and and all that. And this is uh, from the nineteen seventies. I think this one's from nineteen seventy seven, and it's the DC Superstars, and it this one is the DC Superstars of Magic, number eleven with Zatanna. Ah, <sighs> Zatanna. I like Zatanna. Uh, um, yeah, so this this originally, I think, the first seven or eight issues of of this series were just reprints, and it was they they, they chose two stories from like the Silver Age, uh, and they reprinted them in the issues from issue eight or nine, I think it was, until it finished, which was issue. 17 i believe they had one new story with a a feature character which this one is zatanna which is the one i got the reason why i got it for and also they have got in it the uh the first appearance well a reprint of the first appearance of abracadabra in the uh the flash series the most the flash battles abracadabra the most sinister of sorcerers ah, there we go and yeah, this was I've been after this for ages. Uh, like I said, I, I really like the character of Zatanna uh, in Justice League Dark. I feel that she's one of those characters they've just chucked in there to keep like the fanboys happy, sort of thing. You know, um, they don't seem to be using her as much as they could be. Uh, excuse me. A <sighs> those uh yeah they don't seem to be using Zatanna as much as they could be using her in Justice League Dark and I I was 
really cheesed off when they cancelled her, her her series. It was the first series she ever had. There was, from what I understood, it was a, it was a series that was selling fairly well, and because they wanted the new Fifty Two and the reboot and that, they just cancelled it. But there you go, these things happen. Uh, yeah, this one, this one also features Zatanna's father, Zatara. This obviously happens before the events that happened in Swamp Thing second series number fifty. I believe, when Zatanna's father dies, saving her, uh, in it, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, it's, it's been one of those ones where you sort of, if there's a character that you like, and you want to get all the appearances of it, you know, you type the name in, and it comes up with all the, the appearances in there, and you look for it, and you think, that's one panel, do I really want one panel of that character in it? No. no. And this one come up, I, 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 uh, I found out that uh, Ambush Bug, uh, quite a few years ago, just by looking on the internet, that Ambush Bug was in an issue of Supergirl. I can't remember what issue it is now, but I've got it here. Uh, I might do an Ambush Bug video one day. I'll see how I feel. Uh, hopefully I feel better than this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and I did exactly the same thing with Zatanna. I thought, I'll see what, uh, what other comics she's been in. She used to be in the Supergirl series as well from the 70s and early 80s and she was like a backup story of that as well which was pretty cool and uh so yeah there you go dc superstars and magic number 11 uh, yeah really thin on the uh really thin on the uh show and tell sort of thing really i've got one more one more thing to say uh to show you in a second but uh I don't know if you've seen in the, the comic book news, Warner Brothers has won their case against the, uh, was it the, the uh, relatives of, is it Joe Schuster or Jerry Siegel? Jerry Siegel. Yeah. Won their, their court battle against the relatives of Jerry Siegel. Uh, so they now uh, don't have to pay much or anything to the, them. And they also own more, more of a percentage of the creature, the, the character Superman. <clears throat> what this means for the character, I have no idea. Uh, it could be that because of this, DC might actually revert the character of Superman back to how he was. Uh, chances are they won't, unfortunately. And you know, I, I I think this doesn't mean anything for the fans of Superman. I think it means more for the pockets of Warner Brothers and DC and the people who own Warner Brothers and DC Comics and that. I think this just means there's more money that they can make out of the character and not be having to give to you know, the, the relatives of uh, Schuster and Siegel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not a lawyer. I, I've only seen what's been put out on the internet, so I don't understand everything. So if that's wrong... <clears throat> you know, uh, that's just a little thing to say that, you know, that's not anything libelous or anything about the Warner Brothers. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, it, I don't think, like I said, I don't think it will have any effect on the actual character per se, and it won't have any effect for the fans, I don't think, other than, you know, they might pump out more Superman comics now than they've got in DC. You never know. <clears throat> uh, right. Finally for this bit oh, more medicine sorry. remember drink responsibly kids <coughs> uh, Eagle Moss if you're in the UK and you or you've seen my videos in the past You've heard me say something about the company, the publishing company, Eagle Moss. Uh, they do part collections. Every fortnight, uh, an issue of something comes out and you get it fortnightly by fortnightly and it builds up into a wonderful collection of something or other. <sighs> the bastards have done it to me again. <laughs> uh, just after Christmas, Eagle Moss brought out in fact, I'll show you the magazine that comes with it. Eagle Moss brought out Batman Automobilia. I know, it's a weakness I have. 
this is a fortnightly collect collection series which highlights the vehicles of Batman. Now, excuse me, this first issue, as you can see, is the Batmobile from the Tim Burton's movie, Batman movie. And in the magazine, they have a bit about the movie. They have some schematics, and blueprints of the actual Batmobile. A nice little fold out, uh, fold out poster there, <clears throat> and also uh, a couple of pages on the Batman, what was happening to Batman, and the characters in the series in that particular year that that Batmobile come from. This one is from obviously 18, 1989, and it goes on about. You know, Batman Year Three and Gotham, Gotham by Gas Gaslight was a fantastic suit, uh, one shot by DC, and uh, yeah, the magazines. This this is this one is two pounds ninety nine. Second issue is five ninety nine, and I'll show you what it looks like. That's the second. That's what the second issue is going to be. It's going to be the classic Batman Batmobile from the TV series, nineteen sixties TV series. So that'd be pretty cool. So the second this issue is two ninety nine. The second issue is five ninety nine. The third issue goes to its regular price of nine pounds ninety nine. Now the only reason why I'm getting this is because one, it looks pretty cool. I'll show you the I'll show you the actual diecast figure of you know, figurine of the, the car in a second. But the other reason why I'm getting it is because in March, I think it is March or April the Marvel figurine collection and the DC chess set that I'm getting will finish. So I will be picking this up just really. So it's a, a substitute for the two figurine collections that I'm getting. I, 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 will, I was getting until they finish in uh, March time, early April. So there you go. And it, you've got this here as well. Which is just a little, little pamphlet sort of thing, which shows you. I'll show you that. There. I think that's issue three, which is the Batman Batman tumbler from the the Batman the Dark Knight. Yeah, Batman the Dark Knight, isn't it? Yeah, movie. And so you've got a little timeline of what. I am imagining is going to be all the cars that they're going to produce. I've counted it, and I think there's about forty-two. I think about forty, forty. There's there's forty-two identifiable years that they've chosen for different Batman cars, or uh, some of that they've got the. Um, uh, the 1952 the floating the, the flying bat cave do you remember that do you remember that there the flying bat cave in 1952 <clears throat> i think that was i think that only was in a couple of issues and then they they realized what a strange what a really stupid thing idea, idea that was <clears throat> uh what else you've got here you've got loads of things you've got bat bike uh, I suppose that could be an interesting one. The the Batgirl from the TV series, the Batgirl motorbike. Be interesting. Yeah, it it does look interesting. Oh, oh, they've got that horrendous thing that was in the Batman and Robin movie as well. Yeah, less about that, the better. But yeah, I mean, by the looks of it, there's round about there's going to, there's going to be round about f at least forty issues of this. I suppose if it picks up, then they'll probably bring in more vehicles from the time. Um, and I'm imagining they're not going to be doing them in chronological order. And as always with these things, if you subscribe to them via post. Which I don't because I've heard some pretty you know, 
to say horror stories is a bit of an overstatement, uh, a bit of an exaggeration, but I've heard some pretty bad things about getting stuff like this through the post and that, so I just get it from a little news, a little um, village shop that I go to every fortnight to pick up some uh, magazines, my 2000 EDs and that. But if you want to order it on the uh, over, you know, through the post, you get a limited edition Batmobile, which is this one, but in its, you know, the, the cocoon that it goes into, which is in batman returns and it goes into that little cocoon sort of thing that you know protects the batmobile and there's also um a bat wing that's free that you get free you also get a binder for the magazines and there's a free digital magazine edition and you also get rather strangely enough you get a free batman license plate which just says bat one and gotham city I don't remember Batman having the license plate on this. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, after all that build up, here is the actual vehicle. Excuse fingers. It does come in its own protective case, uh, its own protective display case, and the glow and the glare from the computer screen is extra. So, if you want that, you know, you have to pay extra for that. Uh, <laughs> but there you go. Let's see if I can. Uh, you see, I can't really do this justice like this. You get a little Batman figure there, and there's a couple of barrels. There is a a a three D lenticular back there. Uh, let's have a look. See if I can. The case does come off, so let's just uh, let's just peel that off. Excuse me. Talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Uh. So there's the the 3D lenticular backing that you get with it, which will go back in there again. And this is the Batmobile. Let's have a look if I need to put. No, that doesn't look too bad. Get a couple of barrels there as well that get thrown about. So let's see if I can turn this. Upside down without everything falling off. There's a top view of the Batmobile. There's a back view. Ah! <laughs> and there's a side view. And. And our second focus is gone. And we're back. There you go. So, it, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm not too sure if the wheels go. The wheels don't go round. I can see that. Like that. Um, no, the wheels don't go round. There's a slight movement in the wheels, but they don't really go round. It's not a toy. It's something that you stick on your shelf and go, oh, that looks nice. And obviously on the top of this, on the top of that, we have the Batman emblem. As well, um, I'll put that back later on. So yeah, it it's ten pounds a fortnight, and like I said, if it wasn't for the fact that the two figurine collections that I'm getting is finishing very soon, within the next couple of months, I wouldn't be picking that up for the price of it. But seeing as you know, it's pretty cool. I'll get the first few issues anyway and see what I'll see what happens and see what I feel like doing. See what I feel like with that. Uh, so. Yeah, I've got to figure out which way that goes, isn't it? Like that, I think. So there you go. I am still alive, just about, and I haven't got many comics with me at the moment. Hopefully, I'll be doing a review, a review video on Monday. I'll see how I feel with that, and see if my comics turn up. And yeah, we'll just play it by ear and wing it like we always do. <clears throat> so, thank you all for watching. Have a great, fantastic New Year, and. Remember, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs it down. If you thumbs it down, or even if you thumbs it up, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. That's what it's there for. Take care. Have a great new year, and I shall see you soon. Ta-ta for now.